Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and recently I had an interesting call where the air conditioner was not keeping up, and what I mean by that is the homeowner, they would turn the thing to like 74, and it would run and run and run all day long, but it would only get to about 76 and no further. So he called me out, I came out here, I took a look. First we thought that maybe the refrigerant was low, so I checked the pressures, I checked the temp drop, everything seemed to be normal, so I thought, next thing I thought was maybe there's a problem with the airflow. So we went downstairs, looked at the A-coil a little bit, looked at the returns, the vents, started closing stuff. And while we were doing all that, I also noticed this thing right here, which I have forgotten about. But when I saw it, I realized something. This is a control from an air-to-air -air exchanger, and this should be off during the summer. And in order for me to explain this a little bit better, I'm gonna actually go downstairs and show you what the air-to-air -air exchanger looks like for those of you that may have forgotten what that looks like or have never seen one before. Okay, so we're downstairs and here is the air-to-air -air exchanger. It's a little bit of a tight space in here so I can't show you the whole entire thing, but it's basically a big box like this that is mounted to the ceiling by a couple of chains. Now, I was gonna originally talk about the whole air-to-air -air exchanger, how it works, all the components inside and how to clean the filters and stuff, but that was gonna be a little bit too long. If you're interested in that, I will probably be making a separate video on the maintenance of the air to air exchanger, how it works and how to clean it. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check that video out. And now back to the problem at hand. So why his air conditioner wasn't keeping up is because he had his air to air exchanger set to continually run. So this air to air exchanger, basically the purpose of it is to take fresh air from outside and bring it into the house. At the same time, it takes the stale air inside the house and exhausts it outside. So this thing, really, in the summer, it should be just off. There's a power cord right here. This, generally, we recommend just unplug it for the summer. Unless you're cooking a turkey or something and it smells really bad in your house and you want to just refresh the air, then you can just run it for a little bit to recycle the air. Otherwise, the air-to-air -air exchanger should be off. Because what ends up happening is, the main purpose of the air conditioner is to dehumidify the air. So while the air conditioner is trying to dehumidify and cool off the air, this guy right here is just bringing in moist, humid air from outside. So they're constantly just battling each other. And that was the reason why his air conditioner was not keeping up, especially on really hot days when it was 90 or so, it would not get lower than 76 because they had it set to run continually on. Well guys, and that's all I had to share with you. Basically, all I was trying to tell you is if you have an air to air exchanger or if you go to somebody's house that has one of these and they're saying that their AC is not keeping up, this thing should be off during the summer because it's battling the air conditioner if it's on, especially if it's on continually. That's really bad. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other suggestions about the air to air exchanger or any tips about the maintenance and stuff like that, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, let me leave you with a little bit of humor.